She's gonna help you book your appointment. Here's one of the doctors. Hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> um, hey Stevie. For far too long, things have been in silos. So the school operates in a silo, healthcare operates in a silo, and that is not the best way to service families. So if we can promote ongoing, constant communication and collaboration, that's the best way forward. There's always families that amaze me with the resilience that they have. Um, I'm sometimes surprised about the huge challenges that they have because sometimes that's stunningly overwhelming. You can't imagine how they got where they are. And I think there's learning that happens for all of us. It, it, it's just the time and the patience and uh, allowing space for these people to, to, uh, to see themselves and to feel safe enough to realize it's okay. We're able to work together as one integrated team and provide much better care for kids with these types of developmental issues. It's also much easier to access this type of health care when it's in the school system. Families have told us they find that it's more convenient, more comfortable for them. There's not as much stigma attached to seeing the doctor in the school system as there is to going to a hospital setting. And they know that the people working there are working to help them and that are genuinely invested in their well-being, whether it's health care or education. Um, we're, we're all on the same side working together. This relationship with the school teams um, really makes a difference in um, how we're able to advocate for children in the school system and likewise it's also opened up two-way communication where then their educators can contact us. They feel comfortable in the space of their neighborhood school and we're able to ensure that that intervention happens during the early years. We have kids coming as young as junior kindergarten as opposed to waiting to try and get things into place when they're already in high school. We know the earlier that we can get to servicing kids the better the outcomes will be. All a parent wants is for their child to be secure, safe, happy, thriving. And prior to this program and this clinic, um, I felt lost, but my son was also very lost. Even with really great teachers that were compassionate and administration that was very um, supportive, there was still a missing piece of the puzzle. So the program to me really is just putting together all of these pieces, the medical, the social, the academic. I think all of us feel like this, you know, to have school-based services when schools are the centers of communities, uh, when public education is so important as a, a sort of launching pad for future success and health that it's well placed to have school clinics, though it's well placed to have a clinic accessible in the same area as perhaps the public library and daycare and all those things, that there's a hub of services that families can access and that health is part of the center of that.